I've changed up the angle today because I woke up this morning and just felt a bit poo. I haven't been sleeping very well because it's so warm in England right now. It's 31 degrees today and I have the windows shut. So bear with me if I overheat. But I'm just in a real fuck it mood and I thought, you know what? I wanna film a favorites video. I haven't made a favorites video in, it must be like a year now. I stopped making them every month because I didn't have new things to show you every month. I've got loads of things that I wanna talk about. I've got music, I've got a lot of skincare, I've got beauty, I've got food. To start, the first favorite is my San Pellegrino sparkling grapefruit beverage. I actually bought a pack of these and left them in my fridge recently, which is ridiculous because if you know me, um, I'm not really a fizzy drink person. Like I got addicted to Diet Coke when I went sober, fun fact, but other than that, I have never really been a fast fast food person. Not what I mean, a fizzy drink person. However, I love these. If you know me, you know I love grapefruit. I'm a grapefruit gal, so this fits that perfectly. I need to run right now and put this back in the freezer, but this is the Amy's Kitchen Rice Mac and Cheese. They are so easy, so easy to cook. You can five minutes them just in your microwave or you can put them in the oven. You could add stuff to them if you wanted to make it a little bit healthier, like vegetables and stuff or extra cheese, less healthy. They also do a vegan cheese, one of these, I think. Amy's Kitchen is just incredible, but this is the best one I've found so far. Running to go and put this back in the freezer. Okay, I'm back. Final thing that's food, but not really food. This water bottle right here. Oh my God, it goes so well. This, I don't actually know how to pronounce this brand because I was sent this. My BKR Beaker? Beaker, Beaker water bottle. They are lovely. It's glass, so it keeps everything cooler for longer with this insulation. And then it's got a really, really useful like handle lid. Good words. So you can hold it really easily. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on. We're going to go on to bath body skincare stuff now because I have a lot of that. Let's start with shower bits, specifically this Cause Pure Greek Olive Shower Gel. This smells so good. It says it smells like cedar. Oh, it's like, it's quite a, like a gender neutral to masculine scent. I love all olive body washes. I love the olive one from Body Shop and I love this as well. Then another shower product. Let's talk about the This Works Perfect Legs 100% Natural Scrub. I don't know what it smells like, maybe bergamot, but it is amazing. So first of all, the scent, and second of all, it is the best exfoliator with kind of moisturizing qualities that I've ever used on my legs. And it makes my fake tan come out so, so good. Then we move on to the Vita Liberata Body Blur Sunless Glow. I use the color Latte Light. This is a fake tan. I've had not much success with fake tans in the past, especially fake tans for novices like me. I tried this and I was like, Holy mackerel, this is the easiest thing to use ever. And the tanning mitt tells you exactly how to distribute the product. That is the most useful thing for me because I really didn't know anything about fake tanning. I feel like if you're gonna go and fork out 30 pounds for a tanner, which I think lots of people do anyway, I feel like there's like a, quite a high price range when it comes to sunless tanner. This is a really, really good option. Then we move on to a face wash. This is the Oski Renaissance Cleansing Gel. If you are on or around beauty YouTube at school, you will have heard about this a lot. This has just finished for me actually, like, look, not happening. So Oskia is known for nutritional skincare. So the owner and the company try and formulate every product to be like good for your skin, as well as like not taking away from your skin, if that makes any sense. So this has vitamins A, C, E, omega-6, pumpkin enzymes, blah, 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 blah. But basically, it just really works well. When I first started using it, I was on the fence about it, but as I kept using it, I noticed such an improvement in my skin and my skin's condition. It removes my makeup really, really well, and I use it with a cloth, so I'm kind of getting all the dirt off. I just think this is incredible. Like, I can't really explain it. It's like if you wanted to cleanse with oils, but oils don't work on your skin, this is the thing for you. Anyway, I'm gonna repurchase. So it's coming first, and the close second is my Milky Jelly at the moment. Okay, let's start by talking about a combination I've been using in the mornings a lot after I've washed with the Renaissance Cleansing Gel that I really, really love. So I've been using the Embryolis, um, or Embryolise, I actually don't know still, Emulsion Hydra Matte, which is a mattifying moisturizer. It's the best one I've found for matte moisturizers since I was using, oh my goodness, the La Roche-Posay Epiclar H, which I was using years ago when I had really oily skin. I think this would be perfect if you're cruelty-free and you want an affordable, good moisturizer, but you also don't want shine, which in this weather, I do not want shine. But for more in general, like in winter and stuff, if you have oily skin, this is wonderful. However, I've been wanting that mattifying quality 
but I kind of wanted to add some oil to it. I know that's really weird. I'm like a potions master when it comes to my skincare. So I've been using the Neighborhood Botanicals Daily Glow. This is a wonderful face oil. I'm so in love with it. I bought it from Reve and Ver, I think, and it's, let me, I don't even know what's in it, you know, it just works really well. The big thing for me is it doesn't irritate my skin. My skin just doesn't respond to oils that well in general, like it tends to break out, it doesn't like them. It likes this one though. So if you're in the market for an oil that doesn't upset your skin, I'd really, really recommend this. So whilst that combination has been working so well for me during the daytimes, I've now been trying a new moisturizer as well, which I love. This is the Body Shop Aloe Moisturizer. It's the daytime one, soothing moisture lotion and it has SPF 15 in it, and it is fragrance-free, colorant-free, paraben-free, and alcohol-free, which again, I have quite like temperamental skin. It doesn't necessarily mean that I can't put anything on it, but everything is a bit of a risk. This works really well. This is just perfect, like everyday moisturizer. And if you're someone who looks for a very simple skin routine, you just want everything to flow perfectly as a day moisturizer, this I'd really, really recommend. Now for something a bit fancier, I have been trying out this night treatment from Herbivore. It is called Moon Fruit. And let me show you the color of this. It is purple and it smells like lavender. It's got quite a strong smell. It's very lavendery. So this is a super fruit night treatment, which I didn't really know what that meant when I started using it. But basically it's a combination of lots of really cool, like enzymey things and kind of like nighttime rejuvenating ingredients. So you take a little handful, a handful, oh, that's a bit much. You take a, a fingerful and then you distribute it across your face, you massage it in and then it works overnight to rejuvenate your skin. I used it all last month. I think I used it three times a week and I noticed such a change and I really like it. The only reason I'm not using it right now is I'm trying out more night products, but this is very, very good. And of the herbivore range that I've tried so far, I think this is my favorite product. It's just, I really love the smell, but I quite like weird smells like paint and shit. Also bearing in mind I used it for a month, I have not made too much of a dent in it. So I think this would last you a really strong like four months. I've only got two makeup items to show you because I did so many skincare ones. I didn't really want to like draw attention to anything I didn't think was really like exceptional. So this is the Hourglass Vanishing Stick. Is it called the vanishing stick or the vanish stick? I don't know. First thing I'd like to say is I love the packaging, but it's already scratched and I've only had it for about a week and a half. So hourglass. So potentially hourglass, if you ever see this, please improve your packaging because this is so scratched. On saying that, the product itself is incredible. It comes in this stick. It comes in this weird stick that's very triangular, but actually provides really good application. So you draw it down where your highlight is, on your cheeks, and then across, oh God, and then maybe dust it on the end of your nose, that's what I do, and then potentially under your eye, or on your, what's this called? Your bone, your eye bone, eye bone. It's kind of like a cream, to powder highlight. This particular shade is Champagne Flash, that's the one I'm wearing today. And for me, I wanted quite a powerful cream highlighter and I think it does the job. Now, onto something that has completely blown me away and surprised me, and I never thought I'd say this, about a lip pencil, but this is the Sleek Makeup Locked Up Super Precise Lip Liner in the shade No Words. Weirdly, I was sent some of these. Can I just say, you know how you get all the bloggers like, who are like, oh, I get so many things in my, in my PO box and my like, my post box. I was never this person. I never got sent anything. And then this past month, <laughs> it's like things have just started happening. Anyway, this is the Sleek Lip Liner. Um, and this particular shade is incredible. It doesn't really come across as it does on my lips. I'm wearing it today and it's this ready nude brown that I've been looking for for maybe a year and a half. I've been really wanting this color. So whilst I love this color anyway, the other thing that's amazing about these lip pencils is the color payoff and how that I've tried five now only one of them was patchy and that was a bright red, so I can totally understand how that might be difficult to apply. If you're in the in the market for a lip liner and you're cruelty free as well, sleek, 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 sleek. Right then, let's have a look at some music that I'm into. Okay, let's start by talking about colours. You might know colours if you go on YouTube and you're into music at all. They are a company, I guess, that do these kind of acoustic sessions in their studio with artists. However, Whilst I like the series, I really like their weekly releases playlist on their Spotify because they, it's like kind of like an alternative New Music Friday. And so I feel like I'm getting to know a lot more smaller artists and a lot of really good urban artists as well, or like 
I hate the word urban artist, but like artists who make music in all the cities like London, Amsterdam, Stockholm, uh, Berlin. I feel like I'm hearing loads of this music. Yeah, I feel way more in tune with music again. I feel like, well, since I've got Spotify, I've really noticed the amount of new music that's not mainstream music that I'm listening to has dropped significantly. And that makes me feel kind of sad. So I'm really trying to branch out and find new music non-algorithmically at the moment. If you don't know, by the way, I have a Spotify, it's full of playlists. I will link it below. I have playlists. They're all named after tea, lol. <laughs> and I make them kind of like, there's a morning playlist, there's a night's playlist, there's a, a party playlist. There's loads of different like mood playlists as well, like summer, winter, autumn, I've got everything. So I've got a sex playlist even. If you're interested in that, link below. I think Astro World needs a shout out. I've listened to it every day maybe since it came out and I'm consistently surprised by it. I haven't actually seen a features list yet. It's not on Spotify yet, but every time you listen to a song, you're like, oh, and there's Drake and there's The Weeknd and there's Stevie Wonder. Like it's really nuts. My favorite song is either Stop Trying to Be God, which I love. That's got the James Blake feature in it. I also love Wake Up. I think Wake Up's really good. Also shout out to Swimming by Mac Miller. I love Mac Miller. I haven't fully explored this yet because it wasn't very summery music when I was listening to it. I am loving, like loving, loving Billie Eilish at the moment. I know I'm late to the party. I heard Bellyache like maybe half, four months ago and I fell in love with Bellyache but I liked the acoustic version. I didn't like the other versions. And then she recently released You Should See Me In A Crown. Loved that. Went back through her projects. I love everything. I think her in the, like the way that she approaches pop is so innovative and so natural and it feels so authentic. And I really love that. And I've been listening to a lot of R.I.P. Bonsai, which is Bonsai who is now known as Kosha, I think. She's on Miramasa's, a lot of Miramasa's stuff. Um, what's the song? It's like, look at the draw. You, that's my lottery one. That one, she's on that. Like, it still feels very experimental, but I love mixtapes. I'm a big mixtape person, and it feels like a mixtape. It's experimental, it's not that refined, I don't think, and I really like that. It feels like she's exploring different sounds, different techniques, different things she can do with her voice, and different features as well, different producers. So, yeah, I'd really, really recommend that. My favorite song is Rare Fruit. I think Rare Fruit is incredible. As a final mention for like media and fun stuff, I got to see the MIA documentary like two weeks ago and it's really, really important and really good. And I love MIA anyway. I think she's a fascinating woman. And also I was inspired by her for a lot of my teenage years um, and her way she approaches creativity. I just love this documentary. I love how it explores her life really in sync with all of the footage she took when she was younger as well. As soon as it comes out, I'd really recommend you see it. Folks, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you about today. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures of all the fun things that I'm loving at the moment. I appreciate that you stick by me, even though I don't always make the same videos and I don't make the same videos that I did a year ago, but sometimes you just want a throwback. I'm here for the throwback. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.